Welcome to your 14th web scraping tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over Mechanize for Python and we're going to be using it in relation to our web crawling algorithm. So here's how we would use, I mean here's how we were originally crawling websites. We would say URL equals some URL then we would use beautiful, I mean we would use the URL web library to open the file so it would say um, HTML file equals URL web dot URL open um, and then we would throw in URL and then we would say soup equals beautiful beautiful soup um, and then we would open HTML file next we would find all the tags that are a tags so we'd say um, for um, tag and soup dot find all um, we find all the a tags and href equals true um, we would just print out tag see what this gives actually it's tag of href so Let's see what this gives us when we run it. And it gives us contact.html. And this doesn't give us the host name. So what we actually have to do is we have to set a base URL. Um, so we'll say base equals um, equals this. run that actually we'll, we'll have to add base to this so we'll say base equals base plus slash plus run that and this gives us our URL but that's a really hard way to get a URL because you have to construct it you have to remember the host name and what if it wasn't the case that you could have a, um, a URL that has, um, what if your URL is like dot dot slash some directory, then it would get messed up because your host name would say the same for all the URLs on that page, but you have, you actually need a different host name. So we're going to be using the URL parse library in order to overcome this. And we're also going to be using mechanize. So, in Mechanize is just useful for later tutorials anyway. So I'll say, actually I'll leave uh, URLs. So, in order to open Mechanize, we have to say br equals Mechanize dot browser with a capital B. And then we can say br dot open uh, URL and that has basically opened the URL in the in the browser and what mechanize is is it's basically a simulated um, it's basically a robot in disguise it's basically replicating a browser uh, just like any browser you would use you would use Chrome or uh, Spark browser or Firefox some browser it's basically the same exact thing and now we can say for length in br.lengths and br.lengths basically um, mechanize keeps a list of all the lengths that it has and it can see so now I can just print lengths print length just so you can see what they look like and it's actually a little array here and you can see the base URL and that's actually really nice that it gives us the base URL and it gives us the regular URL so um, yeah that's that's what we want because what we're actually going to do is we're going to be going up and down directories we're not going to be having every URL that we see on the page isn't going to have a host name because people like to use dot slash whatever 
people aren't going to write write out the entire URL every time they put a URL in their page. So we're going to have to use this method. So what we could do is we could print out link dot base underscore URL and I'll say the base URL the base URL is and then just add it and this link dot base URL um, I actually don't think this will work when I run it huh it actually did work um, I guess that is a string so I'll do the, the base URL is this and I'll print print the URL is and then I'll add link dot URL and I will run this okay so on ADB news it's found HTTP adbnews.com slash area 51 is the base and it's found that the base is the same for all of these so why don't I try a different page why don't I try slash contact dot html as my root now I'll run this and it finds the base URL is ADB news slash contact .html, and the URL is first so it's it's actually really useful that it does this it gives us what what it's going to append on instead of contact .html. so um, if we were to run our previous example of um, actually that this should work so I'll I'll just do um, new URL equals URL parse dot URL join um, and then I will give um, the host name so br dot Actually, it's link dot base underscore URL, comma link dot URL, and this should give us our new URL. Print new URL, and this is actually the URL that we want to convert everything into, which is this format. So, even though our URL doesn't end in any um, like it doesn't contain this whole ADB news part and it knows to replace whatever was on the end of the host name with this um, this piece of the URL and I'll show you actually another way that I was thinking of doing it originally but it doesn't actually work so if I say um, soup Actually, I'll just copy that code so that we can use it later. I'll just copy all this. I'll throw it in a new file. So I'll get rid of this and I'll say soup equals beautiful soup of HTML file equals URL web dot URL open URL HTML file and then I will say for tag and soup dot find find all I will say a href equals true um, print tag um, and I'll change this to another website like sparkbrowser.com
run this. Okay. So tag of href. When I run this, I get all these URLs. But what I can also do is I can use URL parse. So I can say um, print URL parse URL parse dot URL parse of tag of href dot host name. I'll run that. And it says none for all of these except the ones that have a host name. And what I can also do is I can say path. So I'll print the path. And it just gives me um, the path without the host name. And that was actually how we would strip all the other parameters off of our off of our links. And I actually want to test the code, the new code that we've written, to make sure that it doesn't um, have a problem with the parameterized URLs. So I'll paste that back in, and now I'll go to Spark Browser. SparkBrowser.com and hmm, it doesn't let me see what the other ones were okay so the original code that we ran if we remember it found all of these it found this hash top hash um, it found all of these other links that are parameterized but when we ran Actually, when we did run our code here, it gave us that hash as well. So now that we have all of these, we can go back and say print URL parse dot URL parse of new URL dot host name. And it should be Spark Browser for all of them. Okay, great. So then go back and we'll print dot path. Oh great, and it didn't it didn't put in that um, that hash like it did before, that hash top. So basically what this is, is it's just like a JavaScript. Um, it's like when you click one of the buttons and it bring, it changes the view with jQuery to the top. It's basically just a JavaScript selector, or CSS selector. So um, we, we don't want to have those included. And also this URL parse method, it gets rid of um, session IDs and all the stuff for when you're communicating with the server that could get us in a little um, we don't want to be like, what was that game where you like merry-go-round or something? We don't want to have a little merry-go-round with our algorithm just going around in a circle all day long while we're, we're hoping to profit from it. We're just sitting on our hands, basically. We don't want to just be here sitting on our hands while the algorithm is not making us any money. Because eventually we're going to monetize this algorithm and we're actually going to make some money with it. So. That'll be in later tutorials, but right now we have to get our algorithm up and running. So, drill parse that path, print HTTP that plus um, why don't I say set D1 equal to this? B1 equals to this, B2 equal to this, and then I'll say print um, HTTP um, plus B1 plus B2, and then 
Hmm. Oh, it's a it has to be host name. Host name. Okay. Excellent. So these ones with not with no parameters are basically sparkbrowser.com hash top, sparkbrowser.com hash middle, hash bottom. And we don't actually want to, we don't treat those as separate URLs, obviously. It's the same page. It's just different parts of the page. And this is making our algorithm slightly smarter. Um, now let's go back to ADB News and test it. So we'll go to HTTP ADB news.com slash area 51 run this and excellent we have found contact.html about.html and index.html let's see if it still works for the um, imperfect URLs so I'll say slash um, contact.html as root because remember, contact.html is the one with the link to the next directory up. And basically, Area 51, it has five directories that are, f you have to actually use five steps, five, um, you have to set your algorithm with a depth first search, with a depth, depth of five in order to get to the very end. And then at the very end, there's a link there's a broken link at the end, and then there's also a link that goes out to DisneyWorld.com. So, if you get to the end, you end up going off to Disney World, and then from there you go to Twitter, and all of it basically gets out of hand. So, that's basically how I've set up Area 51 as a little test environment, because there's so many factors that can um, lead these algorithms to crash. I want to have my own environment to test it. So, let's run this. And I think that worked. Area 51 slash first. Excellent. So this is working absolutely perfectly. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching your 14th web scraping tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we'll be getting our web scrape, our web crawler up and running. And I will be showing in later tutorials how to do steps for depth first search and breadth first search and later we're going to be showing a visualiz visualization of our algorithm and the visualization uses a d3 javascript library and we'll be plotting nodes for each website and we'll be linking all of the nodes together so that we can watch our algorithm as it is scraping and the reason it's good to have a visualization in JavaScript is because you can watch your algorithm in real time to see if it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, yeah, and also it looks really cool. It looks like a spider web. So, thank you for watching.